Hi, Amanda. Hi. Can you see me this time? Yes. I'm I'm so okay. excited I can see you. Yay. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Yeah. So welcome everybody to the live today. Amanda is here. She has an amazing recipe book titled Simply Sweets. And it has so many delicious things in there. So I'm so excited to talk today about juice fast results as well as how to satisfy your sweet cravings, you know, in a healthy way. And these are two of my favorite things today, Amanda, maybe yours too, but I have my fresh juice here that I made, my skin glow yeah. juice recipe from my recipe book. And then I have your raw vegan oh, carrot yeah. cake. Yeah, so, oh my gosh, carrot cake is like my life. I love carrot cake. I love so. carrot cake too. Yes. And it's even better and, when it's a raw, healthy version. Too. Yes, absolutely. I've tasted vegan versions, and they're okay, they're good, And but then I've tasted raw vegan versions, and I'm like, oh my gosh, and now I tasted your version, and it's my favorite. <laughs> oh, thank you, that means a lot. Yeah, you're welcome. So I have the whole thing right here. Yeah. So you can see, I've already eaten a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I noticed when it's, when it's raw, I mean, it's so packed with flavor. Yeah. Like, it's just, there's just so much flavor in there, especially with carrot cake, with the spices and stuff. It just- Yeah, yeah. so much. So I'm gonna pop this in the refrigerator okay. real quick. It sounds good. <laughs> so it can stay cold and then I have my piece that I have out here so I can be nibbling on that during our interview and sipping on my juice so guys these recipes are in the vegan health That's bundle a, and uh, combo. <laughs> yeah it, it really is it's one of my favorites <laughs> it's like my cake. I love it. so but the vegan health bundle you guys can pick it up the link is in either one of our bios and uh, you can get everything you can get my recipe book Amanda's recipe book in there and plus tons of other recipe books and information and video courses and plant-based doctors are on there and information and just yeah. so much access so much there's something in there for everyone whether you're yeah. or not like there's so much content in there you'll you'll have a whole year to download everything but um it also makes a great gift too if you download yeah. everything on a hard drive and gift it to a friend or family member yeah an eight thousand dollar value for only 49 dollars. so yeah link in our bio so check that out you guys so today amanda i want to learn uh more about you kind of your history you know what what had you come into the plant-based world you know why did you start to explore this way of eating and um what has it done for you and and tell us a little bit more about your your sweets and your recipes and why you are creating such amazing things <laughs> yeah for sure so uh, basically, I grew up eating the standard American diet, uh, tons of processed food and refined sugar and fast food and all that. Okay. Um, and I was very active as a kid. I played sports. So I think that kind of helped a little bit kind of offset things with my diet. Mm -hmm. But basically, I, you know, as a kid, I remember being sick all the time. I mean, strep throat wow. and like I had pneumonia like two or three times in one year. I had um, migraines all the time and just stomach issues and. Um, and then as I got into like high school, I remember I developed acid reflux and I was, it was so bad to the point where I had to take medication for it. Um, and then once I got into college, I was still eating very unhealthy and like didn't have much money in college obviously either. So I was like getting really cheap, unhealthy stuff. And, um, and then I started de developing really severe acne, like out of the blue. And, um, I was like, what's going on? And I tried so many different topical creams and ointments and all kinds of stuff that wasn't helping. Um, and then I later learned that, you know, acne is really an internal issue and it stems from inside the body and you have to heal it from within if you actually want to, you know, heal it and get to the root cause. And um, so at the time I went to the doctor and they, they didn't, of course, they didn't ask me anything about my diet or anything like that or stress levels. They just said, oh, well, we have this hormonal birth control or this strong antibiotic you can take. And they gave me a prescription for both of them. Okay. And it just didn't feel right with me. Like I just really something in me was like, no, I don't, this doesn't feel right. I don't want to take these, these medications. And, um, so I made the decision to kind of dive deep into research on, you know, how to heal the skin naturally. And I started researching about gut health and diet and the, the overall connection between the skin, um, and how like our food that we eat every day plays a huge role in that among mm -hmm. other things like stress and, you know, working out and being in nature and that kind of thing. But food is just such a big one because I mean, your cells are made from the food you eat and it really does like when you're younger i think you're more resilient to things and you can your body can handle a little more but as you get older it really does start to catch up to you and it shows up in different ways for different people and for me i think it was just showing up on my skin and it was my body's way of saying like something's wrong like you need to <laughs> you need to pay attention to me like 
stop eating the things you're eating. So, you know, you need to make a change. Yeah. And I'm, I'm glad that I listened to that. And I'm glad that, you know, I'm very glad that I didn't choose to take the, the medications and I chose to go a natural route because it's, it's put me on this whole journey of like, just becoming so passionate about plant based food and, you know, health and just creating recipes like healthier versions of things that I used to love. And yeah, um, yeah. so basically, when I when I made these changes, um, when I started, I started seeing big differences when I actually went like, um, high raw and started incorporating more whole food plant based foods, mm -hmm. rather than like the vegan junk food that I was eating in the beginning. Yeah. Um, and so I started juicing. And so juicing was a huge thing that I that I noticed that really made me feel um, just more alive and more energized and really helped my skin a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I always advocate for people to get a juicer if they can and start juicing and regardless of what your diet is, because I think it's such a powerful tool, um, to help the body do what it's already meant to do is to heal itself. But I think juicing really accelerates that process and you're flooding your body with nutrients, as you know, and like, yes. um, giving it a break from digestion, which is such an energy intensive process that the body goes through. Yeah. And especially when you're trying to digest these things that aren't actual food, the things that I was eating for so many years. And so, um, so yeah, I just got so passionate about health and wellness and just plant-based eating and creating recipes and sharing them with others. Um, just to show people that like, you don't have to restrict yourself. You don't have, you can still enjoy what you're eating, but in a much healthier way, that's still nourishing to the body. Um, so that's what I try to do with my recipes. Um, and my dessert book, I've always loved sweets. And so I wanted to make a book that's full of like healthier, healthier whole food treats that still satisfy your sweet tooth. But, you know, you're still getting in these real whole foods and you're still nourishing your body at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, gosh, your story is amazing. And I'm sure people can relate, you know, because our skin is like the body's largest organ. Yeah. And it represents it represents our insides, like you said, how healthy the insides are. And, and that's the thing I love, too, about fresh juices and why I'm such a huge advocate of it is because it nourishes our skin and it bypasses that digestive system almost and gets through the intestinal wall because sometimes our intestines have challenges or they're struggling. They can't really extract the nutrients from the fiber and break yeah. down all that food. So the juice sneaks in there and it just bypasses all that yeah. and it nourishes our cells and our skin and then our body can start to heal itself and we can get stronger, you know, and you know, I still eat tons of fiber and raw foods and everything else and these beautiful desserts like the one in your recipe book, you know, and all my juices. And it, it's all part of a plan. And there are times where I just do juice fasting and juice cleansing, too, where I'm giving all my organs a rest. And they don't have to work to extract the nutrients. I'm just infusing them with all of these vitamins that are bioavailable. And I feel amazing. So now did you just finish like a juice fast recently or anything? I thought maybe you mentioned that. Yeah, no? uh, yeah I did one at the okay. beginning of the year in like middle, uh, so we're in March now. So it was like middle of January. Okay. I did okay. a seven day juice fast. Awesome. Um, yeah, and I did one, that. yeah, I did one last year as well. And last year was the first time I had done that. Okay. Um, and so I'll say the first time I did it last year, uh, it was, it was a little difficult the first few days, like, cause I've been juicing for years and I've done like, um, you know, I'm used to like intermittent fasting and stuff like that, yeah. but I would never done an extended juice fast. And okay. so the first couple days, the first time I did it last year, the first couple days were more difficult, I think is, um, is normal for people who, you know, who aren't used to, used to juicing and fasting and stuff. Cause your body does go through those withdrawals yeah. and it, you know, you're going to have some headaches maybe and some cravings at first, but, um, I remember the first time I did it, it got, you know, the, the main thing I noticed was the mental clarity was so strong. And like, I just felt so energized. Like after I got through the first like day or two, I just felt like so energized, so mentally clear. Um, and just, and same with this time, this time around that I just did a, a couple months ago. Um, the mental clarity was so strong, the energy, like, but I noticed that, um, my sleep improved. Like I was able to fall asleep quicker and get more like, I woke up feeling a lot more well rested. And I think that, I mean, it makes sense because when you eat before bed, even if it's, you know, even if it's a couple hours before bed, like your body's still working to digest that food as you're trying to sleep. And so it's going to disrupt that process and it's going to, you're not going to get as, as good of sleep as you would if you're not digesting anything. So um, that's a huge thing I noticed. And I would wake up just feeling energized and just lighter and just, um, yeah, it was a really good experience. Experience. And um, yeah, I, I really 
didn't ex luckily this time around, I didn't really notice any like negative symptoms, like any headaches or anything like that. And I think part of that is just because I'm more used to this lifestyle. And so, um, you know, for people that are living on the standard American diet or something like it's going to be, it's going to be a lot harder for them to try to jump into like an extended juice fast for sure. And they're going to probably notice more, more intense symptoms, I would say. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was a really good experience. And I encourage like everyone to try at least like, even if it's just trying like a, a day, like starting with one day on just juice. Like I think um, it's a really good way, like you said, to give the digestive system a break and like still flood the body with nutrients at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, great. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel my healthiest when, you know, I'm having my juices all the time, you know, even just aside from the juice fast, but just having them every day, yeah. right? Is that something that you still do? Do you try and incorporate juice into your daily diet? Yeah, I try to do as much as I can. I, I try to do it every day. There are some days where I just get so busy and I miss it, but um, yeah. I try to like make like a day or two worth of juice at a time and just seal it in jars and keep it in the fridge. Um, but yeah, I try to at least once a day have it. Um, as much as I can, because I do notice too, if I, if it's a day where I don't have it, like I, I just crave it. And I'm like, I need, I need my juice. It's so hydrating. And so like, yeah, um, totally. Yeah. totally. Yeah. Me too. If I go a day or something without it, I can totally tell the difference. It's like, even if I'm eating everything else, it's like, yeah, it's so healthy. It's like it's like juice. <laughs> yeah it plays an important role. Cause I think, you know, like I said, it just gets through everything and nourishes us. So we feel amazing. So, and it really, yeah, like, I, during the juice fast, it makes you like realize how much, you know, like, of course eating is important and we need to like feed our bodies. But like, I feel like as a society, we just, we're eating so much. And so like, w even when we're bored or when we're not actually hungry, you know, like we're just eating to eat. And like, when you do a fast like that, it really makes you get more in tune with your body and more like, um, like I said, the mental clarity. And so you're really aware of your body and just, it's like, am I actually hungry right now? It's like, no, I'm <laughs> like, you just drink some juice and you're, um, and that's the thing too, with the juice, it's so high in nutrients that you're, you may not be eating solid food, but you're still feeding your body. And so you're still, you know, getting all these, all these nutrients. So I've never done an extended water fast, but I would say that I'm sure juicing a juice fast is much easier because you are still taking in those nutrients and right. the, the flavors from the different juices. So it's a little yeah. more enjoyable. Um, yeah. I prefer, so, yeah. Juice fast. Yeah. I prefer juice over water fast. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like you said, you brought up such a great point. Something I've noticed too in doing, um, you know, juice fast is that it does make you aware of your habits. Like, you know, a lot of times I would be like, wow, normally I would go and, you know, grab some food at that time, but I'm juice fasting right now. So I don't, but I realized that that was just kind of all a habit almost. Yeah, you know? it makes you realize so, how often we're thinking about food yeah. like constantly. Like, yeah. Oh, what am I going to make for dinner? What am I going to have today? What am I going to have yeah. tomorrow? Like, exactly. And really, exactly. when, you're, when you're doing a juice fast, it's like, oh, I just have my juice. And exactly. I just do it on other things. And yeah. you have the energy, too, to do these other yeah. things. And the, the mental clarity is there. And, yeah, it's a really good experience. Yeah. Well, somebody asked a question. And it's funny because I was actually going to ask you to share this. Um, but what is your favorite go-to juice recipe? And that was kind of my question as well. So what is your favorite go-to? And what are some, you know, if you have other favorites as well? Yeah. Give us yeah. Um, it depends what, like during citrus season, I do a lot of like, uh, grapefruit juice or like grapefruit orange combos. I'll add a little lime or lemon in there. That's yeah. always a good one. Um, I do like really just straight, like today, this morning I had just straight cucumber juice. Oh, um, yeah. Cucumber is just so, it's just so refreshing and hydrating. Um, but then other like green juice, oh, well, watermelon juice is one that I, <laughs> in the, in the summertime, that's what I live off of basically is like watermelon juice or like a uh, honeydew juice um, or like watermelon mint and lime is a really good combo. Yeah. Um, and then as far as like green juice, I'll usually do like romaine, cucumber, celery, lemon, ginger. And then if I have like cilantro or parsley or something, I'll throw that in there too. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. There's so many different combos that. Right. You know, oh my so gosh. And I didn't know until recently that you could juice uh, sweet potatoes. And so yeah. when I was on my fast, I like tried that. I was like, oh, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like yeah. it? I haven't done those yet. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I love sweet potato, like eating sweet potatoes. So I was like, oh, this is, yeah, I didn't know you could do some. And it was, yeah, yeah. It was good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
I know there's like so many things, just so many things to try out there still. It's like, wow. Yeah. But yeah, I love the watermelon too. I do like watermelon cleanses and fast like each year where I'm only having watermelon from like three to eight days straight. Yeah. And I feel my most amazing, my most fantastic, like my muscles have this superpower yeah. because, you know, of all the lycopene in there and all of the, the amino acid, you know, L-arginine. And it's like, wow. It's like, I just, I feel like, like I'm floating. Yeah. Like, because you have to work to get the, the nutrients from it. And I'll eat the watermelon. I'll juice the rind. I make slushies out of it. I just eat it whole. I just kind of mix it all up so it's like different yeah. meals, you know? Yeah, in and, the summer, um, that's like my yeah. diet is watermelon. So I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, watermelon season here soon. Because, yeah, I'll, yeah, my breakfast is like, I'll just cut open half a watermelon and just eat that. And then I'll have yeah. some soup later. And, yeah. You yeah. Know, like, and so when people say, like, watermelon, for example, a lot of people, well, I've heard people say, like, oh, it's too much sugar. That's so much sugar. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's not the same as, you know, just fruit in general. It's not the same as refined sugar or right. white sugar that's found in, like, cakes and cookies and stuff like that. Yeah, um, exactly. It's, it's, from, it's from nature, and it's yep. filled with, you know, if you're eating the whole fruit, too. You're getting the fiber and the vitamins and minerals and, yeah. Yes. It's it's the sugar our body needs. Yep. It's the sugar our body runs off of. It's it, it we need it, especially as as females, to balance our hormones and yeah. um, and everybody for our brain function. So it's actually our body's preferred source of fuel yeah, is natural. Sugar. On, yeah, the brain runs on the yeah. glucose from the, yeah. from the fruits, yeah. especially if you're working out a lot or you're an athlete. Like you mm -hmm. need those healthy carbs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why you know in marathons, you know after that they have tables full of fruits for the athletes yeah. <laughs> after you know it's because that's the body's preferred source of fuel yeah. you know it's a healthy car so exactly. so yeah oh my gosh well we have so much in common and such a, an excitement and passion for juices and fruits yeah, really, so i'm so I'm excited glad when i meet somebody like yeah. you i'm like yeah i'm glad this bundle could connect us I'm yeah, like, yeah I love talking to you. totally yeah. totally okay let's see so somebody else have a question or was that the same one <laughs> put my glass on oh can you get diabetes from eating too much fruit and veggies good question good question um we can kind of share what we think about that do you want to go first amanda do you have any thoughts uh well i was i mean obviously i'm not a medical professional but i would yeah, say exactly. I, I don't i don't believe that to be true um yeah. i think you know fruits and veggies are the, the healthiest things that we can be putting into our bodies and i've seen a lot of stories of people who had type 2 diabetes and they switched to a high raw diet with a lot of fruit and they heal yeah. themselves and so i've seen over and over like so many stories of people healing themselves so healing and reversing type 2 diabetes through a fruit-based diet so yeah. i would say i would say no in my opinion yeah yeah absolutely we're not medical doctors like amanda said but i totally agree with her and uh just do your research really do your research you know and, and do what's best for you and and really learn about the body and because when we really learn the, how the body works and um then you kind of discover like what really diabetes is and why is that happening in the body? Why is the body having that insulin spike or that trouble, you know, pulling the sugar into the cells? You know, why is it not able to do that? And uh, it's it's not as simple as it seems like, oh, it's, it's fruit, it's sugar that's doing that to it. No, there's a lot of different things involved. It's what else are you eating? What else is causing that, you know, to happen? And why is your body being overloaded and not being able to process all the sugar? Um, so there's so much more to it. But like Amanda said, I agree. Um, I've heard and seen so many stories of people being able to heal themselves of that and so many other things, um, you know, and still eating uh, their fruit and getting all that nutrition in. So there's a balance and there's, you know, a lot to it, but um, that's kind I've of our heard, take on Have you heard like about how uh, I don't, I'm not an expert at all, but I've heard like, it's really, people say like, it's actually the high fat that yeah. can contribute to like, it, it keeps it from the, the sugar can't get into your cells because the fat, like too much fat in the diet. Right. Yeah. yeah I have heard that as well. Yeah. And some of the different programs out there, you know, that are targeting, um, you, you know, helping people heal, you know, from diet, diabetes, you know, and, um, gosh, what's his name? Mm, uh, Robbie Barbera. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. So he had diabetes and he uh, really healed himself and he eats tons of fruits. Yeah, <laughs> tons of fruits. Huge, yeah you'll see. Yeah, huge yeah. Huge so ma Mastering Diabetes, yeah. I think, is a program. Yeah. yeah so yeah, look diabetes. into that because, um, yeah, there's just so much out there to share and people are willing to share and help, you know, 
how they healed themselves from that. So for people who are like, you know, maybe sensitive to feeling the natural sugar that's in the juice, because, you know, it is absorbed very quickly, almost as fast as alcohol into the bloodstream. So it's natural for some people to like kind of almost feel a little bit of a rush from the juice, especially if it's a if it's a higher um, fruit one, higher in natural sugars that are good for us. So, um, you know, be aware that you might feel that natural feeling. And if some people are a little uncomfortable with that, I tell them just to dilute the juices, add coconut water, add water, you know, just dilute them. And there's so many recipes out there that you can make that um, are lower in the ones with, yeah, you know, higher sugar. Yeah, load okay. up on a green juice mm-hmm. and just throw like a little bit of apple or a little bit of pineapple to just sweeten it a little bit. You don't have to do a ton of sugar if you if that is something you're worried about. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but with, you know, eating the whole fruit, I don't think that's, you know, a lot of people say like, yeah, just eating fruit in general, that's too much sugar when that's just, I don't resonate yeah. with that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially when you're eating the whole food, yeah. like you said, because you're getting the fiber and everything's there to slow the fiber. Down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, so yeah. If you guys are just joining us, we are here chatting about fresh juices <laughs> and, and raw desserts. desserts. This is Amanda's raw vegan carrot cake in her recipe book, Simply Sweets. And I have my juice here, my skin glow juice recipe that's in my seven day juice and meal plan recipe book. So these are great together. It's a great combo. (laughs) And you can pick them up in the vegan health bundle. It's available right now. The link is in either one of our bios. And uh, it's a a great value, $8,000 for only 49 bucks. So yeah, and you can be eating some carrot cake and juice. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's only available until Sunday, Sunday night. Oh yeah. Yes. And yeah, it's an insane deal. Like, there's so much in there um, for anyone to benefit from, really. And it's not just recipes. I mean, there's so many recipes in there. You'll have recipes for a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> but um, there's other content in there, too, with, you know, fitness and yoga and just um, so mindset and all kinds yeah. of stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's great. So I'm looking at your recipe book right now, Amanda. I have it. I'm scrolling on it. So she has, like, caramel apple pancakes <laughs> in there, blueberry pancakes. Oh my gosh, P, B, and J pancakes? Oh, that sounds delicious. Let's see, what else? Of course, the carrot cake, cupcakes and and, uh, bars, cookie dough, stuffed cupcakes, German chocolate cupcakes. Oh my gosh, that... That German chocolate cake was like my favorite growing that up. That was yeah, that was always my dad's favorite. So I for his birthday every year I'll always make it like a healthier. He's a very, very picky eater. Like he's not into this lifestyle at all. But even the German chocolate treats that I'll make him that are much healthier, he even likes those. So that's really? that things up because he lives off he still eats fast food and not very healthy. So he still likes uh-huh. the the whole food treats that I make. So uh-huh. That's sweet. That reminds me of my dad too. Like when I would make certain raw food dishes and stuff and or desserts. And then I knew, I knew that if my dad liked it, then it passed the test. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. the, the other things he would eat, you know, and grew up eating. So yeah. if he actually liked this, it's like, okay, then it's good. <laughs> it's a good one. And, yeah. yeah. And then you got your salted caramel cookie dough fudge. Oh, those are good. I made those. And then the raspberry macadamia. Oh my gosh. Um, Quick bars, uh, lemon bars. Yeah, there's. Really, um, I, I think there's 50 or so recipes in there, and there are some that are. Um, a lot of them are. There's some baked ones, like the baked cupcakes and right. stuff like that. But there are a lot of raw. Yeah. Recipes, a lot of a lot of no bake ones that are super quick. Yeah. I've had a couple people that I've been lives with make like throw together my like brownie brownie bites and my peanut butter energy balls and stuff like that, and those are those are really quick to make, and you can just throw make them at the beginning of the week and throw them in the fridge and. Have them for a snack or a you know a sweet treat. Yeah, um, yeah. And they're ready to go. Yeah. Oh, the double chocolate peanut butter cookies. I made those as yeah. well. Those are good. And those you just bake them real quick, and they're yeah. ready in like 10, 15 minutes. So there's so many great options here. You know, whether you're cooked or all raw, or you're transitioning over. You know. Um, you can add more plants and more healthy foods to your diet, no matter what diet you're coming from. All this, everything in this bundle and these recipe books can help you just to add more healthy versions of foods into your diet, more plants, more juices, more baked goods, more raw goods, you know, and then find that level of where you're at to help you transition just to be as healthy as you can, you, you know, and, and you feel, yeah, you don't have to feel like you have to commit to, oh, I'm going to go 100% vegan like tomorrow and I'm going to get this bundle like, yeah, that's great. Some people can do that and that's amazing but most people it's going to take small changes here and there and adding in more fruits and vegetables at first and then you know slowly making that transition 
um, towards fully plant-based if that's what they choose to do. And yeah. that's, you know, and you'll notice too, you'll, you know, when you start eating healthier and, you know, you become more in tune with your body mm -hmm. and it just makes you want to, when you see how you, like with how I used to feel with, you know, getting sick all the time and having headaches and just all of that. And, and then seeing how I feel now, it's like, it makes you not want to go back to that and not want to, it makes you like choose better for yourself and choose to put these better things in your body because you, you know, you value your, you only have one body, so you should take care of it as much as you can. Perfectly said, Amanda, yeah. perfectly said. Oh my gosh, so true. And I love how, you know, with all of these dessert options in your recipe book, it's like, it's, it's like comfort food, you know, it is, and, but it's healthy, you yeah. know, and I remember growing up, you know, how much I love desserts too, and used to eat the bad cookies when I was in high school, you know, and, you know, even though they were like, you know, Oreos are vegan, you know, but they're not healthy. Yeah, so exactly. it's yeah, like, you know, vegan doesn't mean it's healthy. Exactly. So I would like to make that, that um, point too, because a lot of people, or a lot of things at the store are marketed towards, they'll say like plant-based on the package or vegan or gluten-free, but it's like, you gotta always look at the ingredients and like you said, Oreos, those are vegan and I think they even have gluten-free ones and it doesn't mean they're, <laughs> exactly. they're healthy just because they're gluten-free, but Mm -hmm. always, exactly. So. Yeah, there's always healthier ways to make make treats like that or just meals in general. So yeah, totally. Yeah. And we want to satisfy ourselves and nourish and be looking forward to like a fresh juice, you know, yeah. a dessert here. So um, you know, and make ourselves feel good. And it's like exciting to be able to have access to healthy food like this. And if you're just hopping on, guys, um, our recipes are in the vegan health bundle. My skin glow juice mix recipe, Amanda's raw carrot cake bars. And uh, you can pick up the bundle and uh, the link is in our bios. And uh, we're just so excited to share the message of what health has done for us. You know, yeah. juicing, juice fasting, uh, eating all these healthy desserts, cooked, uncooked foods, just, you know, get all this stuff in your body and start feeling better. So Amanda, tell us what is your favorite um, recipe in your book, your dessert book? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> that's tough. I would maybe say, maybe the raw brownies just because those ones are so like quick to make and i've had a lot of people try them and they really like them and they're packed full of um there's some like hemp seeds in there and some um like coconut and walnut. they're made with like walnuts and dates and stuff and so they're pretty high in nutrition yeah um and that's probably my favorite raw raw, raw recipe yeah. and then as far as like like a baked one i would probably say uh probably the cookie dough cupcakes those are those take a little more effort and they have some more steps involved but uh -huh. <laughs> the final result is definitely worth it um i just love I always, i've always loved like cookie dough flavored stuff so when i was able to make like a healthier cookie dough cupcake that was pretty pretty exciting okay. for me <laughs> yeah i like yeah. cupcakes. so i'm looking at your no bake uh samoa cookies oh my gosh yeah. those oh that's good. another one yeah that, those are those are a good one because those are like three ingredients i think and very very easy to make and i i loved like girl scout yeah as a, as a kid and so too, it's much, too. yeah it's a much healthier version yes sure. yes it's much healthier so oh my gosh there's the caramel apple uh oat cookies there's just so much in here guys peanut butter chocolate chip oat cookies raw chocolate strawberry cake baked chocolate cheesecake. I could just go on. How many are in your book, you said? I think around 50 or so. Maybe. Around 50. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, plenty. Like in the beginning, you're listing off the pancakes. So there are some breakfast recipes or like oat cookies, like breakfast cookies too, and pancakes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then towards the end, there is some like smoothie bowls and nice cream recipes. I love nice cream too. Yeah. Um, that's a, that's a go-to of mine, especially in the summertime. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Absolutely delicious. So, so yeah. So just so fun, you know, talking to a fellow juicer yeah. and dessert <laughs> carnosaur. <laughs> oh my gosh, like two of my favorite things. So yeah. So yeah. now, how are you doing? Like on just being um, with your like daily living. Like, what is what is a day in the life of Amanda look like, diet wise and just yeah, fun wise? Um, do do? Every day, yeah, every day is a little different. I usually do like intermittent fasting, so I try to have at least like I'm not like strictly with it like oh I'd have to wait till the certain time to eat but I just kind of feel best when I go you know roughly like 16 sometimes even 18 hours in between eating okay. um and obviously that includes when I'm sleeping but um mm -hmm. so a lot of the, but it depends where I'm at in my like um my my hormonal cycle too and like if I'm yeah. you know, a certain area part of my cycle I'll go you know I'll have shorter fast and maybe like a 12-hour window in between eating mm -hmm. but um mm -hmm. 
I usually break my fast in the afternoon um, with like a juice or a smoothie uh, okay. or fruit. Um, and usually I'll have, most days I'll have like one main meal a day and I'll be like, you know, a big salad with a ton of different stuff and like a side of maybe some roasted sweet potatoes or something or roasted squash um, or like a stir fry mm -hmm. or um, mm -hmm. some like vegan talk, plant-based tacos or something like that. Um, so yeah, most days I have like one main meal and I'll have like a smoothie and some like fruit and maybe like some of my peanut butter energy balls or something throughout the day. Um, yeah. But yeah, I just listen to my body and I don't, I don't ever count calories or anything. Yeah. I am, I am very active and I go to the gym about five days okay. a week. And so I do, you know, try to get in, you know, a good amount of protein and carbs and healthy fats and that kind of thing. And, but I never count calories. I just kind of intuitively just listen to my body. And if I'm, you know, if I feel hungry, I'll eat. And um i try to eat as high raw as i can it is a little harder in oregon here in the winter time uh to eat, <laughs> eat high raw but um in the summertime i basically live off you know fruit and watermelon and salads and stuff like that yeah. but um yeah exactly okay well good in case and that's good to know you know that you're really into fitness and you're really active because yeah. you're, such, you're such a great influence and inspiration for people who you know, want to transition to more plant-based or be all raw, you know, and even some cooked, it's like, you know, look at Amanda, she's, she's doing it. She's eating healthy, she's eating plant foods, and she's still getting enough energy and protein. Um, so could you kind of give a little insight, maybe some tips to others who are thinking, wow, I want to go plant-based and I work out, but I've been told that I'm not going to get enough. Yeah, we're going to get protein. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah, so the most of the muscle I've gained has been on well being plant based because I've been vegan for like six years now almost. And um, I used to go to the gym, you know, and work out before that, but not as cons consistently as I do now, like lifting weights and that kind of thing. Okay, so it's definitely a you know, it's not true that you can't gain muscle as a vegan or get enough protein because all plants do have protein in them, it's just in different amounts and different, you know, you just have to. I would just advise like make sure you're incorporating a wide variety of of plant foods into your diet so you are meeting all those um getting all those different nutrients and stuff from the plant foods and um i like to add in you know a lot of like in my smoothies i'll add in some like hemp seeds and some mm -hmm. uh, chia seeds and maybe a little maybe a little bit of nut butter or like a very clean i don't do much protein powder but okay. um, i have like a couple brands one of them is uh, zigo and they make very clean products and their their protein powder is just like one ingredient and so I'll add a little bit of that in sometimes. Um, and then, yeah, just focusing on real whole foods and yeah. just eating enough and listening to your body and don't feel like you have to, don't restrict yourself. Cause it, with being plant-based too, like if you're first making the transition and you are working out a lot, you are gonna need to eat more because the plants are lower in calories for the most part, like fruits and veggies are, are lower in calories. So you're gonna eat, you need to eat more volume uh, for sure to make sure you're getting in enough, uh, especially if you are active and you're trying to build muscle and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, there's definitely, I mean, I wouldn't worry about <laughs> the whole protein myth. A lot of people, I heard someone else say earlier, I was watching some lives and someone had a good point of, you know, when people ask, well, where do you get your protein? They come back with, well, where do you get your fiber? <laughs> Cause most <laughs> people aren't getting enough fiber in. And yeah. I think that's a good, good point. Cause, um, yeah. Definitely. And, uh, so yeah, just, you know, just listen to your body and incorporate as much, you know, as much variety as you yeah. can. Um, yeah, totally. Make sure you're meeting all those goals and because all plants do have protein. That's where protein originates from is from plants. So. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You know, everything, all the vitamins and minerals we need are in the perfect proportions already in the yeah. plants. You know, they're in the perfect proportion. So I don't, I'm not big on a lot of protein powder either. You know, I'll add a little bit here and there sometimes, but it's from, it's like a green powder that it has all whole yeah. food sources. So it's not synthetic, Exactly. but um, yeah, but we just have to eat enough. So those are great points. So if anybody out there, you know, is into fitness and working out a lot, you can totally get it and, you know, get the nutrition you need and build muscle. Um, I became a vegetarian when I was only 11 years of age. So I, I grew up vegetarian and I was real active, like in the fitness center and everything growing up in high school yeah. too. And I still work out, but not, not as intense as I did back then and probably nowhere as near as intense as you do right now. But, um, but yeah, I get, I get the energy and the, and the fuel I need from the plants. As long as we're eating enough, you know, I agree. Amanda said, you know, make sure you're eating enough. You have to get enough calories. And um, it's important to know your calories, but I've never been really big on that either, Amanda. I just kind of, 
I just eat for nourishment. It's something I want to try and do eventually and get better at counting calories, but I've never been able to like really just get into it yep. and learn it. You know, it's yeah. like, I'm going to take the time to input it all, but <laughs> I'll work on it. I'll hopefully do it and someday. That I just thought of with, when it comes to like protein and in the fitness industry and stuff, a lot of people will promote like these pro these like bars and these certain, certain things that are like high in protein, but it's, it doesn't yeah healthy and that's not the best source for your body like right just because it's high in protein doesn't mean it's healthy you got to look at the look at the ingredients and because a lot of these protein powders and protein bars and stuff are the bars for are a lot of them are just like candy bars really like if you actually mm -hmm. look at the ingredients yeah like, and a lot of the protein powders are just have a bunch of fillers in them and just yeah. um add sugars and just weird weird things that that's, your body doesn't need so yeah, exactly yeah you know instead of those protein bars seriously like have one of these desserts from yeah. your recipe book i mean <laughs> this raw carrot cake it's full of nutrition you guys dates walnuts yeah. carrots i mean it is cashews it is so healthy and then have your fresh oh, juice on the side i mean you got it. You got your nutrition and you can feel good. So exactly. <laughs> yeah. So anything else you want to talk about or um, you were mentioning like uh, when you have like your cycle, I believe, like yeah. I want to kind of touch on that because that's something I noticed with a lot of um, plant eaters and, and vegans and raw vegans is that they, they have better cycles. Like they, they're healthier through it. And, yeah. you know, can you share with us like your experience with yeah. that or anything? That's yeah, good question. That's something I noticed too. I used to deal with very painful periods for years and years. And then when I started eating a lot cleaner and juicing and stuff, um, I noticed they, you know, the pain went away and they were just, I wouldn't be as like moody during it or before it and just noticed, really did notice a big difference. And mm -hmm. when I did my juice fast too, um, the cycle that I had after I did the fast, um, it wasn't right after, but the, the next one I had, it was like, completely like painless it wasn't even like i still had had my period but it was like i think the the cleanse really like helped with that too like yeah uh, they eat pretty clean in general but um but that is something i noticed just over the years like um because i did used to have very painful periods and just unpleasant experiences every time which a lot of people so common and i think because it's so common like people just normalize it so much and i don't think that's it's not meant to be that much of a you know an unpleasant experience like it's a natural thing that the body the you know woman's body goes through but it's not meant to be excruciating pain every month and this horrible time um, right yeah right. exactly it um you kind of you know sell through it when you eat this way i've noticed yeah. it's almost like like you said you still had your period but it's almost like it's so light and you don't really yeah. feel it's there you know what i mean yeah. so let's see let me see if there's some questions since going raw my menstrual cycles are a lot better but just right before i have that fatigue slump so okay and i mean that can happen because of the body's own natural rhythm that it's going through i would yeah, suggest the, your hormone right before your period mm -hmm. your hormones drop a lot so it's natural to feel even i still feel you know during that time a little lower lower mm -hmm. energy and that's normal but yeah um, you shouldn't feel you know i don't think it's normal to have the excruciating pain and the you know mm -hmm. just extreme moodiness moodiness or the pms symptoms and yeah. stuff that so many women deal with that's so normalized yeah but i really it really comes down to diet and lifestyle in my opinion like um, yeah my own experience i've you know and i've so many other people i've heard you know talk about when they change their diet and stuff that they're that's another thing that improved was their menstrual cycle and the symptoms yeah, yeah. totally so when you're going through that slump um just really allow yourself to rest give yourself permission to sleep because sleep is so healing and especially during that time us women need that more that sleep to balance our hormones and to heal and regenerate so it's really a special sacred time so just you know when you feel that slump you know if you can depending on your lifestyle just you know, take a day off yeah. and really just soothe yourself and, you know, do something relaxing, light candles, you know, make more healthy food yeah. and, you know, just, just relax sleep. And rest yeah. And yeah. That's yeah. something that I've been trying to get more in tune with the last couple of years is like realizing like, okay, women are very different than men. And we have these cycles that, you know, in our society where 
most people have, you know, if you work, you know, a nine to five or whatever, and we're constantly going and going and we're constantly busy, it's hard to like yeah. take a step back and slow down sometimes. And especially for women during that time, it's like very important if you can to, you yeah. know, take a day to rest, like you said, and totally. really get more in touch with our bodies and our hormones. And um, I think that something that's like really, I mean, so many people are on horm hormonal birth control, which yeah. really affects that which is unfortunate um, and it's so heavily pushed on people like it was pushed to me just for my skin issue. And I was wow. luckily didn't, didn't take that, but yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, talking about juices and all like during that time, um, I would suggest, you know, is like more carrot juice for some reason that carrot juice is just like so healing. I, mm -hmm. I've done, you know, carrot juice so much before that my skin actually turned orange. And some <laughs> of you may have heard that before and that's okay. It's natural. It's just the excess beta carotene, you know, in the skin and your body will convert that, you know, the vitamin A, it'll convert it to uh, the beta carotene. So, um, but the carrot juice, like, is another thing, like the watermelon, like how excited and healthy I feel watermelon is. That's kind of the same way I feel about carrot juice. And I've done like intense cleanses with both. So, uh, but the carrot juice seems more like, you know, uh, more maternal, more healing, you know, especially for women, for some reason, it's like soothing, especially if you get it really smooth. And uh, so try that during that slump and more during that time of the month. Yeah. Um, what about you, Amanda? Is there any juice you would recommend or you use during that time that helps you more? Um, not in, in particular, I think um, just flood, just green juices and just flooding your body with those nutrients during that time. Like, yeah self extra extra nutrients and extra rest during that time mm -hmm. um, helped it, or what I found it has really helped me yeah absolutely well awesome any yeah. more questions out there let me check and see wow this has been exciting just so fun chatting yeah, with you I'm about really glad that you can see me this time because for anyone watching I know. Time, everyone I live, on my channel and she couldn't see me for some reason yeah so. yeah this is so much better yes. so fun <laughs> is really connecting with you. So you guys, this is um, Amanda's raw carrot cake from her Simply Sweet recipe book and my Skin Glow Juice Mix from my seven day juice and meal plan. So uh, both of those are in the Vegan Health Bundle plus tons more. So the link is in our bios. Make sure you guys get yours before it's too late. March 10th is the last day at 11.59 Pacific Standard Time. So get it now while it's on your mind and uh, just get healthier. Learn more about health and nutrition and we're here, we're here to help and inspire you and just guide you along the way. So yeah, uh, you thank you, Amanda. Share whatever else you want. Yeah, I was just saying, if anyone that has questions about the bundle or anything, feel free to reach out to one of us and we'll mm -hmm. help you out. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend going to one of our links and viewing just everything that you get in the bundle and seeing all the amazing contributors because mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. it really is an investment for you know a small price to pay for $49. It's a huge investment in your health. So yeah. Absolutely. Well, wonderful. It was so joyful just hanging out with you. Yeah, this was awesome. So um, <laughs> we'll have to do it again soon. And thank you, everybody, for, for hopping on. We hope you enjoyed it as well and that we were able to help you in some way. So we will see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye. Take care.